Howdy, Jim and Robo! Alrighty then! It's over here to make the park explode with power, so let's go! Oh, oh! I see you have a cartridge there, Chibi! Cartridges go in the reader! Repairs cartridge. It's broken items. You finally have access to the park project section of the Chibi PC! Yippee! Well, okay, that's not exactly true. See, the thing is... Under normal circumstances, when you place a work order in bark projects, I would personally go out there and fill that order. But thanks to such a soft, effective design, as you can clearly see... I can't go anywhere! I'm totally stuck here! I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I take full responsibility for this. Bonjour. This is a very nice house. It is so very high tech. Oh, oh. Excuse me, but who are you? Thought you had my eyes and ears, Chet. Bonjour, Monsieur Robo. My name is Francois. Welcome to our humble abode, then, Monsieur. Merci beaucoup, since you were so kind as to help me. I would like very much to repay the favor and help you too. Hello, from this moment on, let us be friends. I will join you on your noble mission to rebuild the park. And, oh, I am quite confident that the other stray toys in the town would agree with me. And I am certain that they would like to join your noble mission as well. I suggest you go find them. Well then. Oh, oh, excellent idea. Oh, he's gone. Anyway, let's take care of that broken bridge. Let's go into the GPC and open up park projects. All right, now we've got to go through a whole mess of menus, but let's go and actually rebuild that bridge over there. So we need to go to park patrols. That's a pretty simple bit. Then things get a little complicated. So first things first, actually, this is pretty easy. You get to decide what square of the whole park to go to. Obviously, we want to go to this little bridge here, but look at the size of this entire park. Wow. Look at all these are things we can get to come to later. Wow. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, yeah. Nope, that's the A button. Okay, repairs. That's it. After repairs, fix broken items. Press it again. Nope. There we go. And then you pick who you want to do it. You can have three people at a time, as you can see from the bottom screen and actually the top one as well. We're gonna get Francois to do it because he's the only one around. Do you say any different lines? No, it's the same. Oui, okay. très bien. That takes 180 watts. And you can see the total watts it uses that we have. Um, Sure, I don't know why it really needs to tell us that information at the top, but whatever. Taps the items that you wish to repair. Oh, so we get to look around again. Interesting. Not sure why, but okay. Zoom into this one. Tap it again. There we go. Fixed. And we press OK in the bottom right. You get to see there it is. Just, I don't know, you get to look at it. Press it again to say, here we go. And then there's a roulette. This basically decides the price of Francois' work. There is a actual price of 180 watts, but it might go up and down depending on how he feels and how this roulette does. So let's see. You feel so magnificent, I shall give you a 102 watt whip discount. There you go. There is no one left to work now. Cool. So then we exit, and Francois will get to work. Did that seem a little complicated? I always thought that was a little bit complicated. It is the show time! <clears throat> I mean, you're dead, so maybe it's not. There you are. Bonjour, Bonjour Monsieur Robo. <laughs> that reminds me. I saw you on the television when I was in town. Are you the famous TV Robo by any chance? Yeah, that's me. Très bien, Monsieur. And tell me, is it true that you are a robot, monsieur? Yeah. Seems pretty true. Très bien, monsieur. Excusez-moi, but... Do you act on your own will? No. 
So let me share with you my story. I have one obsession, the liberty. I travel the world for freedom. It's ironic, no? How can I be free with these strings? Oops, but I have talked too much, have I not? Anyway, let me help you with your park, Monsieur Robo. With my magic, there is nothing I cannot do. Sacre bleu! Bonjour, très bien, et merci. Voilà! For liberty! Au revoir! Merci for waiting! Bonjour, Monsieur Robot. I have completed the repairs job for you. Well then. Alright, so now we finally get to go over to the other part of the park. Now with this, a couple of things open up. First things first, let's go get that bike. And then we've also got a couple dirty little patches of flowerful stuff to deal with, which would be very nice. We do have a goal today, and that is to reach 100 flowers. But first, bike. Dreamy Baba, do you copy? It's time for another one of Chet's helpful hints, yippee! It's not the slickest bike, but it beats walking. Here's how to ride your new bike. Just steer, use left and right on the old control pad, or an A buttons. To brake, press down B. Finally, just use the pedals on the touch screen, and you'll be on your way. So yes, they really try to push those motion controls, or touch screen controls. You need to actually spin on the screen to cycle. GB Robo, do you copy? Boy, that bike looks pretty rickety. I hope it doesn't fall apart. Well, there's no use worrying about that now. Now that you've got wheels, you should go explore the town and park. Ready? Then let's go for a bike ride! Alright, so we're not actually going to go too far. We're going to go here. Mostly because, hey, flowers. We need flowers. So at this point, let's do some flower blooming. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to give a little talk. There we go. I hope I can get my bearings right. On just a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. So, here's a main question that I kind of don't know the answer to, but I guess I'll be able to tell by what people say in the comments. Is this game good? There's kind of... Uh, it seems to be the general theme that no one... No, Chibi Robo never got back the magic that was the first game. They're very much... This, the... What do I call them? Like, the company behind Chibi Robo very much tried to take Chibi Robo in all different areas of gaming. Every Like, he's basically taken on every genre at this point, it seems, but... This game, it's very different from the original, and it's very kind of... I would say, some people would say it's bland in how you have to just keep growing flowers, and that's like the bulk of what you have to do. But at the same time, there are some good aspects to it. For example, like, the general sound designing mechanic of Chibi Robo is still here, to a degree. The fact that stamping on the fertile soil makes different music to when you are... Standing on the cave, the pavement even. The fact that your footsteps have sound effects and they add to the music is kind of nice. There's all sorts of like little things like that, and using using the um, tools actually gives music, not just the boombox either. Just actually using your squirter makes another music. It's it's quite nice. And I remember when I first started playing this game, I remember actually feeling quite nice. Like I really enjoyed playing this game because I had a nice sense of nostalgia from the first game. And I think the reason for that is because it does use a lot of the same sound effects. There are some different ones, like the actual sound of these instrument, uh, instruments, tools. But like the basic one of like being low on energy, charging up, all sorts of little sound effects. It's that one there. Actually, I'm not I can't remember now. Um, they're all, I don't know. I like how it didn't completely take away from the sound effects of the first game. It makes it feel still a little bit like a chibi robo game. Like, can I cycle home and not die? That would be great. Um, but I will, of course, mention some of the issues this game has, including the sound design. 
this game, as I just said, did take a lot from... Uh, how do I put this away? Do I not? Do I just leave it away? There is definitely a way. That gets it out. Okay, that just resets. Okay. Fine, let's go in. Um, hopefully I didn't leave any happy points behind, because if I did, then they're gone forever. It's a bit of a weird mechanic, but oh well. Sound design-wise, this game took a lot of what's good from the original game and ran with it. But on the other hand, a lot of times, it expanded the sound design to a point where it wasn't good. Such as this. It's nice that we've got a sound effect for getting happy points, but why do you have to ring all of them consecutively? And then this one. It's like, wow, that's a great recharging sound from the first game. Great. And there it is again. Great. There are times where you hear the same sound effect quickly and again and again and again straight after each other, and that's not good sound design. And I don't know, it just something I always have to mention. Like, if I'm skipping through this, you have to hear da 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 ding, da 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 ding. Especially, ah, oh, especially when you're dancing to a whole bunch of flowers at once, getting a hundred score and seeds go everywhere. There's a, there's that low tone every time a seed is planted. And if, if you're like making five seeds per flower and you're dancing to five flowers, that's 25 times you have to hear that theme. I don't know, man. This game is... Sometimes good, sometimes bad, but we do have stories, so I'll be quiet. I see you, Metal Foe. You're the one who's been undoing my beautiful destruction. Busy planting flowers, are we? Yes, I thought so. Now listen, you foul, do-gooding little cat opener. I'm onto your vile master plan. You aim to turn my lovely wastelands into ridiculous flower gardens, don't you? Yeah. The audacity of it all. Ugh. I won't let you take this park without a fight. Meet my smuggling soldiers. Mwahaha. <laughs> my smugglings have a very special talent. They transform tacky regular flowers into lovely black flowers. Like all things lovely, black flowers don't last forever. When night falls, so do they. Whatever you do, my sweet little smogglings, keep your distance from water and snacks. Jamie Robo, do you copy? Those first little guys over there are called smogglings. According to the news reports, they've been trashing parks all over the world. According to the search engine on my web browser, um, I mean, according to my vast databases of bark-related information, smuggling swell when they touch water! Given enough water, they eventually explode like disgusting water balloons! When they do, they splash water on flower buds around them, then... Well, I won't ruin it for you. You'll see for yourself what happens then! Alright, really slamming down how to defeat these guys, you need to, of course, squirt them with water. Now, the best way to do that just go up to them with the squirter, I guess. Also, it's good to run on the pavement like I'm doing here because it means Chibi Robo goes a little bit, oh, or he uses at least a little less battery power. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. That's their little attack. I usually don't actually have that happen very often, so I'm not sure why they that guy suddenly decided to be a bit rude. Okay. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Get out of here, you. Don't chase after me. Do your... Wow, I'm really not good at these guys. Come on, there we go. When they're in black form, get them a tiny bit wet. That's all I need. Just water. A little bit of water. Don't... Wow. Seriously? These guys are not tricky. Why is none of this hitting? Have I got bad... There you go. Bad depth perception or something? I don't know what that was. Okay. Anyway, they squirt water and hit flower buds. You get a whole bunch of happy points. It's... And they may even grow. Where is my... Oh, there he is. Alright, buddy. Can you, like, come over here a little bit? 
Where are you? Come on. No. Oh, okay. You're gonna do your dance, then I'll hit you right here. Boom! I was just here to re to you know check my flower count and recharge, but if you want to give me a monologue, that's cool too. Right, I'm gonna go hop back into my flower making. It's weird that the tiller cartridge appeared only now when we had over 60, yet we had over 60 beforehand, like last episode. Oh, whatever. Jim Robert, do you copy? It's time for another one of Chet's helpful hints, Jimmy! Oh, I guess it's because I was at 60, not on 61 or something. I don't know. Tap the Chibi Rides icon to take the bike out! I knew this one already, but thank you. Right, now it's night time clearly, so let's see how many flowers we can actually grow over the over the bridge, but otherwise, we'll see. Somebody needs a lesson in sound design, that sounds terrible, jeez. No, I can play my music! Ah. Good job, Chibi, but look at the time, I'm back! You've worked enough for today, why don't you head back to the Chibi house now? Right, so this is the smuggling report. It shows you how many smugglings there were, how many you defeated, and how many got turned into black flowers. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can have up to nine a day! Short 